Thank you so well, much for giving us the time today, Secretary of State John Kerry. I want to start by talking about the cessation of violence in the statement that you released uh, yesterday with Lavrov about Syria. They're talking about uh, entering aid to the besieged areas and cessation of violence and not ceasefire. Can you please tell us the difference? Senator McCain, you were one of the first people to warn um, the United States and people around the world of what's going to happen by neglecting and ignoring what's happening in Syria. And that's exactly what we saw happening today. What do you, why did you expect that in the first place? Why were you one of the first people to know that letting this happen is going to result in all of these negative and bad and really destructive things to the West? Because first of all, when those young people demonstrated and then were brought in by Bashar Assad's secret service and beaten badly. And I do want to ask you about Turkey. Mm -hmm. uh, where is the negotiations with Turkey going uh, in terms of having that safe zone mm -hmm. which Turkey is asking for? Um, but what do we anticipate coming out of these negotiations knowing the difficulties we've been having with the Turkish government? Well, we have two partners who have been both very, very effective in fighting uh, uh, Daesh, particularly in Syria. But uh, for historic reasons, uh, both sides not only don't trust the other, but feel under security risk from the other side. And that includes the Turks, not just the uh, SDF, which has a largely but not entirely Kurdish leadership. Welcome to the Absas. I'm your host, Hevi Buzo. In this segment of our episode, we'll have an exclusive interview with the United States Special Envoy to Iran, Brian Hook. Thank you so much, Brian, for giving us the time today. Sure, good to really be with you, Hevi. Appreciate Haiti. it. Uh, I want to start by asking about the waivers. Uh, you know, people were anticipating a lot of pressure, maximum pressure, as the administration has called it before on the Iranian regime, and there were waivers for six months. Do those waivers include countries like Iraq, Turkey, India, the countries that Iran relies on for most of its uh, oil revenue? When we put in place the sanctions that were lifted under the Iran nuclear deal, it was the single largest imposition of sanctions against Iran in American history. Now they're trying to enrich uranium to, to blow up the nuclear deal mm -hmm. so that the Europeans will provide some economic relief. Unlikely the Europeans will cooperate with this. Well, they're trying to say that there is now uh, basically a, a new protocol, a new way for them to help the Iranian regime economically so they can keep them in the deal. But how realistic is that? I mean, you just said that this is not something that they're going to be able to deliver. Are they just buying time? To talk about all of this, we are joined by Bernard Levy, French philosopher and writer. Thank you so much for joining us today. I appreciate your time on um, your visit to Washington, D.C. Thank you. Let's start by talking about your new book, uh, The Empire and the Five Kings, America's Abdication and the Fate of the World. That's a very broad but very interesting title. What is the book's substance? 